a man with one name but many, many laughs, Sinbad. All right, all right. How y'all doing? Woo, yeah, great. Y'all doing good. How, no, it's the married people. We got married people here? How many more married people? Married? See, women, yeah! The dudes are like... I'm here, man. I'm here. Marriage, see, marriage doesn't affect women. Women, y'all look healthy. Men lose weight, hair fall out. And you put up with, like, he looks good. I like him. Now take them chains off. You can come out tonight. Come on. <laughs> it's serious. Like, how long y'all been married? Y'all look like y'all just got married because the way y'all dress, because you don't even care. <laughs> see, when you're newlyweds, you like, put on that ugly shirt, honey. Come on. <laughs> see, women will do that. Women will put you in an ugly shirt like that and tell you you look good because other women won't mess with you while you're here. <laughs> Oh, honey, you look good. Sit in the front. You'll say, <laughs> do that. And the women are going to the bathroom. She must be pissed at him. <laughs> See that shirt she put on him? Mmm. Y'all been married how long now? Four years. Four years? So there's no reason to dress like that now. <laughs> now, how long y'all been married? Eleven. Eleven? <laughs> My man's like, been a long time. Because <laughs> when you get married for a man, your life changes totally up, doesn't it? Like, people don't talk to you anymore. They think you got brain damage. They talk to your woman. You'll be standing there right next to her, and they go up to her. How's he doing? <laughs> Good. Tell him I said hello, and I'll call him tomorrow. <laughs> and you stand there. Oh, talk to me. <laughs> Shut up. You know they're not talking to you. Because it does. Marriage, man, for like guys. Because if you tell women you're married, they're like, oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> you tell men. Yeah, I just got married. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me, man. That's contagious stuff. Because I, I tried to avoid it because I got engaged. And that, that saves you time. You got time to think about it. Because a woman, when they're ready to get married, they don't play around. You come home one day, I'm going to be married right now. You're like, could we talk about this? Because what happens, what they do is you buy an engagement ring. And that quiets them down for a while. Because they're like, I want to get married. And so you get the ring. Ooh. Ooh. You're like, Shh, that's close. Another year, I'll be all right, man. God, it's strange, too, because when you get married, I thought I was going to be macho and go out there and say I do. You notice you never hear the man say I do? You'll hear the woman from, like, next door somewhere. <laughs> but the man, he's like, because the, when they ask me, Sinbad, do you take her to be your lawful wedded wife? I was, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> but not my woman. It was like, do you? Yeah, he's mine. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also when you get married, you get in these weird arguments because women won't tell you why they're arguing. That way they have total advantage. They'll be sitting there screaming at you, you know what you did, you know. And you're like, I've done a hundred things wrong this week. Which one did she find out about? And you're not going to give up any clues, are you? <laughs> did I do it in this room today? <laughs> Wasn't that one, all right. Because <laughs> another thing that changes up in your life, I notice when you get married, one thing that really affected my life, you might remember this, there's no toilet tissue ever left in the bathroom again. Yeah. Women, they're, they're, seriously, she knows, I use it all. Yes, I use it. <laughs> Women go through entirely too much toilet tissue in a lifetime. <laughs> and you can't be using it off. I think you just play with it when at home. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ooh, it's all gone. <laughs> and that's dangerous to do to a man, because men don't check till they get through. You know that. <laughs> men will sit down. Oh, man. Feels like cardboard there. Yeah, <laughs> better not use that again. I hurt myself last time. That's... Men will start going through the trash. Let me see what's in here. <laughs> Say, honey, you through with this Newsweek magazine? Because <laughs> let's face it, until men get married, we go through one roll a year. Because we'll use an old shirt. We don't care. <laughs> if it's not nailed down, that's potential toilet tissue to us. <laughs> Say, man, throw me that Cheerios box. <laughs> we'll pour the cereal out. And leave that wax part inside. I like how it feels, man. <laughs> Guys don't care, man. <laughs> and so funny is, men like to get comfortable when they use the bathroom, don't they, ladies? They'll sit down there and kick the door open and talk to you. Say, baby, what's for dinner? <laughs> Chicken, ooh, bring me a piece while I'm in here. Hey, let me replenish my system while I'm sitting here. Let me go. And the funny part is, women will come in with the chicken and make a scene. Oh, oh, God, I can't see. <laughs> And men will grab you, won't let you leave. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to light a match and we'll blow up. <laughs> but I don't care what anyone says. When I was a kid growing up, it was always worse to go in the bathroom after your mother instead of your father, wasn't it? Because, like, mothers hold it in for two or three weeks. 
and you try to beat your mother. You see her going for the bathroom, like, oh man, I better go now. <laughs> Cause my mother would go in, she looks so good, her hair would be done. She'd come out, hair would be laying on the floor. You can use it now. And I would just stand there. Uh, I'll brush my teeth tomorrow. And my father, no, don't embarrass your mother. Go in there and hold your breath like I told you. <laughs> I don't want to go in. She killed my brother. And sooner or later, after you get married, women will send you to the store to buy this stuff women use, won't they? This is a test of their love. <laughs> I'm, and not only will they send you, they call their friends up. Yeah, he's going today. Uh, look outside, he's getting in the car now. Yeah, I put that ugly shirt on him. Everybody see him in the store. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with sending us to the store to buy this stuff, ladies. Y'all just got to tell us what size to get. Because I go to the store, I get totally confused. Y'all got light days, heavy days, fake days. I don't know why days. Got that new one, Death Valley days. I, But I like to have fun with it. I go in the store, and I stand in the aisle, and I look at them. And as soon as a woman comes down the aisle, I stop her. Say, you're about my wife's size. What size would you get? <laughs> Women will run from you. Get away! <laughs> I throw boxes. How about that one? <laughs> God, man. But even this, this thing to being men now is all about macho. Like, boom, you know what I'm talking about. See, you can fight and stuff. See, women like going out with you because they get in trouble. They want you to hit people, don't they? I went boom, boom, hit him, boom, boom. He tried to make me pay for that drink. I'm serious, man. See, I'm not macho, man. I'm serious. If I'm walking down the street with my woman and a monster chase us, that's a dead woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, that's how it is, man. I might even throw you to slow him down. Here, take that. <laughs> I'm serious, man. That's why before I date a woman, I run her in the 100-yard dash. If she beats me, we ain't dating. Because I've seen these scary movies, too. Even if you beat the monster up and he chases the woman, she always trips anyway. Ooh. I hit an air pocket. It slowed me down. God, man. Like these movies like Rambo. Most people see movies like Rambo and stuff. See, this movie trips me out. Because you go to see the movie like Rambo or any macho movie, when men leave that movie, they think they are that character. You go to any movie theater playing a macho movie, you see guys leaving. I don't like the way them people looking at me, honey. You stay here, I'm gonna go kill one of them people. You see, it, it does, you go through those changes, man. But like, that's California, period. Because you come out to California, and it's so wild out here. People do drugs out here I have never heard of. If you can get high off it, people in California will do it. You see people in California making up stuff like, Yo, man, if you get in front of the air conditioner when it first come on, <laughs> that Freon will mess you up, man. <laughs> Freeze your face off, but you feel good, man. It's wild. Even in California, but one thing I like about California are the women out here. Y'all have beautiful women in California, and they will go half naked, don't even think twice about it. Women will wear halter tops, don't halt nothing but traffic. <laughs> And they know what they're doing, too. Look, they're looking at me. Ooh, they hit that tree. Look. <laughs> Not my fault. Because <laughs> I go to the beaches, man, and now they have this new thing that women... Women are trying to give men brain damage. They got those new bathing suits, you know, a little French cut with the string up the butt. I mean, French women must have the littlest butts in the world. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why I'm not going to France. I'm scared I go to the bathroom and have a little strip you got to sit on. Like. <laughs> Honey, don't sit down. You can hurt yourself in that. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Women have these little, and they wear these little bathing suits and get mad when you look at them. Got this little bathing suit on, talking about, what you looking at? <laughs> and what makes me angry, and women, you have to agree with me, there are some women out there with butts way too big for these bathing suits. <laughs> you see them out there scaring the children. <laughs> the kids don't know what it is. They're out there, it's a jellyfish, run! <laughs> it's pissed, it got some string in his butt. <laughs> Hey, thank you very much. Y'all have a good audience. Thank you.